Hello everyone, welcome to Salesforce Predator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies in Salesforce. In this video series, we are discussing about Salesforce Lightning Flows. In today's video, we'll discuss how we can manage access to flow and how we can handle flow versions. Okay, so I'll go to my Salesforce org and we'll select flows over here. Now these are the flow already created in my Salesforce record. So I'll go at the bottom and this is the flow which we have created in our previous videos. So if I click from here, so it will open my flow builder. Okay. Now uh, you can deactivate flow from here. Okay. And if you click on save as, so you have an option to save this flow as a new version or you can create a new flow from here okay so right now we won't be doing anything here now if you go to this uh, flow related list right so you can see you have uh, this option over here and there are three options view details and version of this flow edit access to this flow and edit details of this flow okay so we'll go to first option view details and versions okay now in this uh, page you can see the flow properties over here at the top right you can see uh, which version of this flow is active you can see uh, who activated or deactivated this flow who modified it right next uh, in the related list you can see flow versions okay so there are two versions of this flow and uh, you can see the version numbers over here you can see what are the types of these flow and uh, what which one of this flow version is active so right now this version 2 is active right now from here you can uh, open these two flow versions you can delete the deactivated version and you can deactivate the active version of a flow okay and you can see the delete button over here it's disabled why because for flow to be able to be deleted you need all the versions of those this flow to be deactivated okay so for if i can deactivate this flow then i'll be able to delete this flow right so we'll go back we'll check what next option was so I click on this I can see edit access so if I click on edit access you can see we can modify the access to this flow okay so by default user with any of the following permission can run this flow okay so a user having run flow or manage flow in permission in their profile or a permission set with these permissions assigned to user so those user can by default access this flow or also a user having flow user permission it their user records okay now let's say we want, don't want this default settings we want to override the settings so for that we need to use this checkbox and what it will do it will override this setting and it will allow only users with the selected or enabled profiles to be able to access this flow okay so if i can select system admin over here and click on next standard user click on next and save so only these users are able to access the flow now okay so this is how you manage the versions of flow and you edit the access to the flow okay so thank you for watching this video if you have any doubt you can write it down in the comment sections do not forget to subscribe this channel thank you